Tamar, thanks for joining us. Just looking back on the weekend, firstly, disappointment result, performance felt like it was there. What, what did you guys kind of make of it as a dressing room? Um, exactly what you just said. I thought the performance was, was fantastic, you know, from the ball, especially in the first half. Before we completely dominated the game, and it was more of like, when is the ball coming, not if. Um, obviously, it didn't come, and you know, in football, like uh, if, you, if you don't score, take your chances, uh, the other team are always going to get a chance. and. Fortunately, that's what happened. We got punished. Um, it's always going to be one of them, them days. Once they score, their, then their backs against the walls. They're going to get everyone behind the ball. And to be fair to them, in the second half, I thought, I thought they played the game very well and just helping the ball into corners and stuff. But I think uh, with ourselves, we've got to be a lot more clinical and ruthless. And that's not just the four players. That's all over the park. You know, with the, the centre halves coming up and cross going in the box and set pieces. I think it's all, all relative and it's all important. So. Going forward, we're hoping that we can we can put that to bed and uh, become more clinical. Just felt like one of those days where it just wasn't going to happen. Even in the second half, we're piling on pressure, chances coming and going. What do you kind of work on as a group to improve that? Now, how do you sort of deal with that issue? Everything I think um, in training every day, like um, with the gaffer now and like Rossi, and, like even between us as well. Like when people go for on goal, um, it's like before. I think it was more of a like a nice environment. Now it's more of a like a like we've got to we've got to do with people screaming at each other to like put the ball in the back of the net because they that whole cliche like um, you train how you play. Um, so now we're just trying to do that whenever we're, we're going through training on, on goal, just trying to do do them good habits and hopefully we can take that into into games. And tell us about the new manager. What's it been like working with Kevin? Was there a bit of overlap at Orient for you guys? Um, I've uh, yeah I played with him. Uh, my first spell when I was 17, I played with him. He was a striker and I played off him in the 10. Um, showed my age a little bit there, um, and then when I was on loan from Bristol City, uh, came back a few years now, um, he was the assistant to Russell Slade, so I've known him uh, um, a good few years now, so it's good. And what's it been like to work with him on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, fantastic. Obviously, for me, like um, personally, like I, I, I know him really well. Um, kept in contact over the years and all the rest of it. Um, obviously, for the for the boys, the majority of them haven't come across him. But the, the vibe has been positive, and like um, he's trying to implement his own his own ways, and all, not changing anything too drastically. But um, little things, and how he wants us to play, how he wants us to work hard. Because um, really, really, like working hard, uh, work ethic. That's the be all and end all. Like that's what you should have automatically. Um, so yeah, he's just stamping that down, and then he's encouraging us to play and just go and play with freedom, which is great. And looking ahead to Blackpool tomorrow night, they've had a bit of a sickener at the weekend, conceding to draw in the last minute. What do you expect from them? What sort of challenge do they pose? Um, first and foremost, I think it's going to be probably a horrible, horrible away game. A uh, fixture that we need to dig deep a bit like uh, Morecambe, mm. um, Carlisle, them, them type of games where you have the long journeys, you know, like come um, get your head around it. It's going to be a cold, windy, wet night. Um, if you're going off the weather today, um, just got to dig deep. Um, we know how to win games, how to see games out, and it's about doing that, doing the right things at the right time. And then up the other end, we've just got to be flair um, and have the, have the end product and the clinical and ruthlessness at the end of it. And for you, finally, the chance to bounce back, I suppose, as quickly as this, is, it's got to be a good thing after the disappointment of the weekend. That's what they say in football, like, um, especially when you've got midweek games. It's like if you have a disappointing result uh, on the weekend, then it's like, it's not forgotten, but. Like you can get over it a little bit, a little bit easier and quicker um, if you've got a, a, mid, a midweek game. So like, um, that's what we're looking forward to. We had a good, good morning on the training ground. We all know what we've got to do and we've got to take it into tomorrow and get a result. Perfect. Thank you very much.